Hey, I'm Craig, and today for the Surfboard Guide, we're gonna check out our initial thoughts of the Sabre by Mana Surfboards. So you're probably not familiar with the label Mana Surfboards. Uh, it is Dan McManus, and he's from the mid-north coast of New South Wales in Australia. Um, and while he's not new to shaping or surfing, uh, the label is fairly new. Uh, I stumbled upon it on uh, everyone's favorite social tool, Instagram, was able to connect with him, and was able to get a board for review to check out, which I was absolutely frothing on. So this is the Sabre. Um, I guess you'd characterize it as a small wave kind of performance board. And that's a key thing there. While it is short and it's stubby, 5'6 uh, by 20 by 2 and 11 16, so that's 32 and a half liters. It's short and stubby, but it's also quite high performance. So looking over it, um, holds a lot of volume out to the rail. 2 and 11 16 uh, is pretty thick uh, and it holds a lot of that to the rail. So there's a lot of float under the belly and in the rail paddles really well, keeps pace across section, but um, sections. But I think what makes this a little bit different than other small wave performance boards is this actually has a significant amount of flip in the tail um, there and also in the nose, where a lot of these boards will be flatter, uh, have a lower entry rocker and also very flat through the back end to give it that kind of skatey feel. This has more of a performance rocker to give it more of a performance feel. So, um, it's our initial thoughts. I've had a few surfs on it. Um, we'll put out the, the full review a little bit later. But yeah, I uh, had a few surfs. Feels really good underfoot. Definitely likes a small wave, but maybe a better small wave with a bit of push or the bigger, junkier stuff. Um, and I went away recently up the north coast before injuring myself. I'm actually out of the water at the moment. But was able to have a few surfs on it in a whole variety of waves. We've got some footage that we'll put towards the, um, the, the full review. Uh, and the thing feels absolutely epic. Definitely a... Um, that volume under chest and underfoot makes it easy to paddle and good in small waves. Um, but then when you get a section, you can do a turn or whatever, that rocker uh, definitely lights up and it gives it a real performance feel. Something I really liked about the Sabre was this tail here. I don't know, I guess you call it like a chopped swallow or something. I don't really know, like a diamond swallow. Uh, looks pretty cool. I don't know if it'd be very much fun to glass, but uh, it feels really cool underfoot. Has a nice kind of feeling of drive and also release. I don't know what exactly it's meant to do. Um, I guess kind of take those edges off a swallow where it might extend, but feels really nice underfoot. You know, um, really drivey, nice hold, but also release. Uh, in the back end of it, um, Dan said suggest to ride big fins. So I've been riding the Geordies. These are the new Geordies by Futures Fins, and these are a large fin. Oh, these are good. You guys know if you've seen some reviews, I really like the AM2s. And I don't think the Geordie template, you know, um, steers too far from the AM2 template. So it's nice. It feels a bit firmer in its construction than the AM2 if you're used to that in the RTM hex um, with that flex pattern. It feels a bit firmer. But if there's anything else you'd like to see in the Mana um, Sabre review, any fins you'd like to check out, uh, please comment below or hit us out on Instagram at the surfboard guide. Um, but yeah, otherwise it's been really good. Uh, you might know, I don't know, Futures have just started putting out towel pads. So I've got a chance to check out a few of the towel pads. So I've whacked one of them on here for the review. Uh, so far, feels really good underfoot. Um, everything seems to be working. But yeah, we'll put some clips together, try out some different fins, hopefully get back in the water soon, whole variety of different waves, and put the view, full review out pretty shortly. Anyway, um, yeah, if you want to connect with us about the board, check us out at the Surfboard Guide. Or if you want to check out Mana Surfboards, they're also on Instagram at Mana Surfboards, um, and I'll tag them any posts about this uh, and comment below on YouTube and that. But anyway, thanks for watching, and we'll put the full review, full review out very shortly. Thanks.